good day. It's me again, Jomaric El Mapindan from Mayapiap Elementary School, your teacher presenter for Teleturuan. Last episode, we described the appearance and uses of homogeneous and heterogeneous mixture. Today, we will describe the techniques in separating these mixtures. Last episode, we've discussed that mixtures are formed when two or more substances are physically combined. Some of the mixtures must be separated because it is useful with its individual components. Sometimes, it should be separated to be properly used by the people. There are ways of separating components of mixtures. Some methods rely on the differences in the properties of the components. Let's discuss the ways of separating components of mixtures. First, we have filtration. Filtration is a technique in which insoluble solids is separated from a liquid. It uses a filter-like mesh cloth or filter paper to separate solid components from a liquid. This process is used if you want your water free from soil particles. Filtration is good in separating an insoluble solid from a liquid. You can also use filtration if you want to separate sand from a mixture of sand and water because sand does not dissolve in water. Next is evaporation. Evaporation is a technique used in separating soluble solid from a liquid. By the use of heat, the liquid evaporates and separated the soluble solid. This method is used by people who produce salt by evaporating seawater under the sun. Next is distillation. Distillation is a process of separating liquids from solution. The separation technique is based on the differences of boiling point of the substance in the mixture. In distillation, the mixture is heated. The substance with the lowest boiling point boils to vapor and condenses to liquid. It is collected as distilled water. Pure water can be obtained from seawater. Water can be separated from salty water by simple distillation. Distillation works in obtaining pure water from seawater because the water evaporates from the solution and it's cooled and condenses into a separate container. Next is decantation. Decantation is a technique used in separating a less dense substance from a denser one. In decantation, the mixture is left undisturbed. When the components are separated, less dense substance could be removed by scooping using a spoon or it can be removed slowly by pouring out less dense substance. Oil from water can be removed using decantation technique. The fats that float in your sinigang could be removed by decantation or scooping. In an oil spill, decantation is the best way to remove oil or gasoline. Chromatography Chromatography is a technique that separates the components of mixtures that are based on the ability of each component to be drawn across the surface of another material. During the separation, the various components of materials spread in different speed. Components that have the strongest attraction with the paper travel slowest. Chromatography works in separating dyes because some of the colored substances dissolves in liquid better than others, so they travel further up the paper. Chromatography is used in hospitals to detect level of alcohol in the bloodstream. It is also used in environmental agencies to detect the level of pollutants in the water supply. It is important as diagnostic tool used by chemists and forensic technicians to separate and analyze substances. There you have it. Please stay tuned for the continuation about separating mixtures. We'll be right back 